Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Joker's Wild right here at FBG Productions. Glad you could join us here today once again. On our last episode, we saw a new champion crowned, and he is back with us to try to see if he can work his way into our Tournament of Champions. He's got a couple episodes to do it. Let's see if he can make it there, but he's got a lot of competition in his way to keeping him out. So with that said, let's meet our players for this first game here on this episode of The Joker's Wild. Our challenger comes to us by way of Inkster, Michigan. He's a gamer and a lover of game shows. Me, Lawrence McNeil. And our returning champion from Baltimore, Maryland. He's a college student with cash and prizes totaling $7,500. Me, Marty Bingle. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Lawrence, glad to have you back here. Hello, Brandy. Yeah, back with us here. Uh, took a break for a little bit. Back on the um, back here on the Joker's Wild. Uh, managing to get back just in time to give yourself at least one more chance to try to get, work your way into the Tournament of Champions. You ready to go today? Well, let's see what happens, and 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 we'll make the best of well, whatever happens. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm here. Let's have fun. All right. Well, best of luck to you, and we welcome back Marty, our returning champion here. Yay. Yep. Yeah. $7,500, sir. I believe that's actually all cash so far that you've won. You ran into Lucy, unfortunately, last time in our bonus round. You ready to go again that's today? Right. Yep, let's do it. All right, fantastic. Good luck to the both of you. You guys know how this works. First person to $5,000 of proper turn wins the game. Goes on to the bonus round for a shot at possibly a brand new car. With that said, let's take a look at the categories we're going to be using in this first game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. <laughs> We got Rock On, Television, Science, History, Geography, and finally we finish from questions from the old grab bag. All right, so we got that set. Uh, let's unlock our re reels for our players. And while I do that, I'll remind you at home, our current uh, natural triple jackpot for this first game here today currently sits at $20,000 in cash for a natural Ooh. triple. Remember, that's bonus cash that you get to keep no matter what happens. And with that said, Lawrence, you are our challenger. You get the right to spend first, sir. So when you're ready. All right, let's get something good. First spend of the day. History. History. Natural triple. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, dang. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. I mean... That's a great wow. way to make a f opening statement there. Twenty thousand dollars in cash. That's yours to keep, no matter what happens. So no, so you're definitely walking away a winner. But let's see how well you do now with a history question here. For two thousand dollars coming your way, let's see what you got here. All right, we all know the famous, uh, uh, famous man known as William Tell. I need you to tell me what was William Tell's nationality. Was it Swiss? Austrian or Belgian? Yeah, uh, boy. Mm, Swiss. Swiss is the correct answer. You got it. Two thousand dollars. Wow. Nicely done. Way to start off strong there. Twenty thousand goes into Lawrence's bank. The uh, jackpot now resets back to ten thousand dollars for the next a natural triple spin. And champion, we're over to you, Mark. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> Not at this point. Uh, Here we go. Science, geography, and television. Oh, great. Uh, apparently you can't come back from that. Let's go television. All right. Going with television here for $500. Here comes question under television, Siri. Here it is. In the series Lost, what plane crashes in the first episode? What plane crashes in the first episode in the series Lost? Is it Flight Oceanic 815, Flight Air France 162, <coughs> or Flight Pan American 3424? I've never seen an episode of Lost. Uh, I'm going to guess the first choice. Flight Oceanic 815? Mm -hmm. Good guess, because that's the correct one. 
Yay. Good job. You're on the board, sir. You've got five hundred dollars. And Lawrence, we're back to you. Okay. I swear, if the same thing happens again, oh boy. I swear to God, that happens again. <laughs> there you go. Science. Science. No. And a joker. Oh Lord. Not to say. Oh my lord. Oh boy. Uh science for one thousand. One thousand or two thousand? Eh, two thousand. All right, going all the way for it. There, get this right. You're up to four thousand dollars, sir. Here is your question. In science, Lawrence, there are four states of matter. They're solid, liquid, gas, and what other? Again, in science, there are four fundamental states of matter: solid, liquid, gas, and what other? Is it A neutral? B, plasma, or C, vapor? Shit, I'm leaning between A or C. I'm going on a limb with vapor. Vapor is incorrect. Marty, you can pick up 2,000 if you know it. Plasma. Plasma is the correct answer. Good job. Yeah, yeah plasma is the fourth uh, state of matter there, and Marty picks up 2,000 there, takes him in the lead, 2,500 to 2,000, and it's your spin. Uh, Grab that, rock on, and a pair. I got a pair there. Let's go rock on for a thousand. All right, going rock on for one thousand dollars, sir. Here is your question under rock on. All right, Marty, what band released the album Hot in the Shade, the cover art which represents the Sphinx wearing sunglasses? Again, what band released the album Hot in the Shade, the cover art which represents the Sphinx wearing sunglasses? Is it A, Kiss, B, Blue Oyster Cult, or C, Deep Purple? Uh, it sounds like that'd be a Kiss album, so I'm going to say Kiss. That is the correct answer, sir. $1,000. All right, 3500 to 2000 And Marty, uh, sorry, Lawrence, we're over to you. Oh, boy. We have Joker, Television, and Science. Television. All right, for 1000 Mm-hmm. All right, Television for $1,000. Let's put you up to $3,000 if you got this right. All right, sir, what series is located in the fictional suburban town of Point Place, Wisconsin? Again, what TV series is located in the fictional suburban town of Point Place, Wisconsin? Is it A, Happy Days, B, Step by Step, or C, That 70s Show? Uh, well, I surely remember this one. Hang it out. Anyways, uh, That 70s Show. And that's the correct answer, $1,000. There we go. All right, 3000 to 3500 Marty, we're back to you. And... Television, science, and grab bag. This does not want me to win, I can see. <laughs> uh, let's go television again. All right, another question on <coughs> your TV for $500, sir. Let's see what you do about this one here. What senator is threatened in the first season of the series 24? Again, what senator is threatened in the very first season of the TV series 24? Is it A, David Palmer, B, Wayne Palmer, or C, Arnold Palmer? Oh, great. Uh, I don't think I've seen very much of 24. I'm going to take a guess and say Dave Palmer. David Palmer is correct. $500. Wow. There you go. 3000 3, to 4000 And, Lawrence, we're back to you. Oh, boy. Geography, television, and a joker. Oh, yeah, boy. What's the maximum amount I can play for? $1,000 if you pair it with geography or television. Yeah, let's go with telly for one buckaroo, 1000 All right, for another $1,000 question, sir, here it comes for you under TV. Lawrence, in the TV series How I Met Your Mother, what is the flaw of Marshall and Lily's apartment? Again, in the TV series How I Met Your Mother, what is the flaw of Marshall and Lily's apartment? Is it A, non-working flush, B, spying neighbors, or C, a crooked floor? Oh, boy. I fairly rarely watch this thing, but 
if I'm correct, I want to say it's the floorboard. <coughs> the floorboard, excuse me. Crooked floor is the correct answer, sir. It's all tied wow. up. 4,000 apiece. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, there you go. Coming uh, down to the buzzer on this one. Uh, Marty, we're back to you. Joker. Uh, Joker. Grab that. Uh, uh, I can't decide. Uh, you know what? Let's go off the board. Let's go television for a thousand. All right, going with television for one thousand, sir. If you get this television question correct, it gives you five thousand dollars in proper turn and <coughs> win the game. However, if you miss it and Lawrence gets it, it will give him five thousand dollars and proper turn enough to win the game as well. Here comes your question under television. What character? What famous warrior character is played? By Lucy Lawless. See? Again, what famous warrior character is played by Lucy Lawless? For $1,000 and the game, name her. Uh, I don't think I've heard that name. I, I don't have a guess. So i got to be honest. I don't have a guess. All right, no guess there. Uh, Lawrence, you could pick up the game and the game and another $1,000 if you know it. Uh, it's, well, I don't know too much about this, but I may have heard of her name is she part of the uh xena warrior princess she does play xena warrior princess you are correct and you're the new champion <laughs> yeah i mean i heard of the actress i mean sis i mean sis it literally came to lots of them i know she played in Spider man and a few others but i don't remember that one this is game uh, congratulations Never. to you. Well done, sir. $5,000. You are the new champion, and you're going to get to play against Lucy here in just a minute. Well, Marty, unfortunately, your time here was just a little short with us, sir, but did you have fun yeah. with all you played? I did. Well, we're not leaving here empty-handed, sir. You take with you $4,000 from this game, plus the $7,500 you had from the previous game, so it's a grand total for you of $11,500 all in cash. All right, thanks for playing. And we'll look forward to see, see, having you back in the future there. Well done. Yep. All right. GG. Lawrence, good job for mm -hmm. you, sir. Another $5,000 there, plus the 20000 you picked up for the natural triple. You've got $25,000 so far. And we're going to see if you can add some more to that as you take on Lucy the Devil in our bonus round. We'll do that right after this short break. More, heart, more of the Joker's Wild right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Joker's Wild, our new champion. Lawrence has already won $25,000 in cash. We're going to see if he can add some more to it as he takes on Lucy in the bonus round. Come on over, Lawrence. Hey. <coughs> All right, welcome in, sir. First bonus round for you. Uh, you know how this works. We got the prize board loaded up with some goodies on it. Spin it, and let's see what you're going to be playing for. You okay? Here we go. Very nice. We got you a lesson graphic, a trip to Montego Bay, and a marble cupboard, giving us a total prize package of $13,188 in prizes that can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. All right, Lawrence, here's your chance to see if you can add to your winnings here. All you got to do is now get to $10,000 on the reels before you see Lucy pop up. If you can do that, you'll win the cash in the bank plus your prize package. Along the way, the, if every joker you spend is going to get you $1,000 in guaranteed bonus money. Spend three jokers on any of your spins. You win the joker's jackpot, which currently stands at $245,000. <coughs> Managed to spend three jokers on one of your first two spins. We're going to double that jackpot to $490,000. So potentially could you easily jump over a half a million dollars in cash and prizes should you manage to beat the devil. But of course, as always, if you have a fear of the devil, you can stop and take your money at any point in time because if Lucy shows up on the reels before you get to $10,000, you lose everything except the bonus money you've won along the way. All right. So if you are ready, sir, best of luck. Let's see if you can beat the devil. <coughs> well, let's sure give it a shot here. And let's go. Our spin up. Joker. Joker. Triple Joker on the first spin. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
I see I here? What in the world is going on here today? Get this Are man to Vegas me? now! I tell you, it doesn't like, it did not like any of us over on the other group. Because if you notice, Jason didn't win that. I didn't win that. Mark didn't win that. Here he comes. Boom! Boom! Oh, genuinely, oh, I am stunned right now. On the first spin! Wow! wow. Unreal. Unreal. Right now. <laughs> well, let's let's oh let's do God. some damage control here. Let's see. First off, uh, we're gonna give you three thousand dollars in bonus money. We're gonna also gonna throw in your prize package, which seems almost insignificant at this point. Add in what you won in your upfront winnings, and plus we're gonna add in another two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars to that. Let's see if I can do the math here really quickly. Sir, you now have a one game cash and prizes totaling, and this is ridiculous, $531,188. Wow. Yeah. That is the question of the night. I think that's a, I think that's a definite with this one. <laughs> Right. Keep up, keep up with the that is insane. Happen. Lawrence, what do you have to say? Huh? Speechless up to this point. I imagine so. Well, I'll put it this way. You definitely have the cash amount to possibly get into the tournament of champion, but it all, it all comes down to the number of wins you got. And one win is unfortunately not going to quite cut it, so you still got some more work to do. What we're going to do is go ahead and reset the jackpot back to, back to its original amount of $50,000, which I haven't done since like the beginning of the season practically. We're going to take another <laughs> commercial break, and we're going to come back and hopefully see if somebody else can take down Mr. Lucky over here. We'll do that right after the commercial break here on the Joker's Wild. Stay with us. My dear... Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. We have just seen an exciting moment from the luckiest man in the room today for sure. Lawrence McNeil not only in the upfront game hit the natural trip on his very first spin, he comes into the bonus round and does the same thing with three jokers off the jump for $490,000 in cash. Again, bringing his grand total now to $531,188. We've all had a minute or two to calm down here to try to like assess this, but unfortunately, my producer says we've still got another game to get to, so we need to find you another opponent. So let's meet him now. Our next opponent, Arts and Retail Smaller, out of the referee part time from North Louisiana. Let's meet James Stone. Yeah. I, I, I feel like, uh, Lawrence over there is like, oh, it's uh, winning all that, just being lucky. Hey, like my grandmother said to me a lot growing up, sometimes in life it is better to be lucky than good. I find that to be a true statement more often than not. But welcome back to the show, James. Right, thank you for having me here. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, we'll jump right into it then, and let's take a look at the categories you guys are going to be playing with on this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. <laughs> we have art and literature, geek sheet, sports, video games, movies, and finally we finish with more questions from the old grab bag. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players. And James, as the challenger, you have the right to spin first, sir. So when you are ready. All right, let's go. First spin up for you, Joker, Bitch Games, and Sports. Well, I'm going to go with my sports. Go with sports, all right. Sports is the category he has chosen for $1,000, sir. Here, com here comes your question. All right, James, what team... Won the 2016 Stanley Cup Finals. Again, what team won the 2016 oh. Stanley Cup Finals? Was it A, the San Jose Sharks, B, the Pittsburgh Penguins, or C, the Tampa Bay Lightning? The Penguins. Penguins is the correct answer. You got $1,000. <coughs> All right, you're on the board first. 1000 to nothing. Lawrence, your spin. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do I dare take this bin? Uh, yeah. Otherwise, we we, we, we kind of can't keep the game going if you don't. So I know, I know. <laughs> if he gets the triple joker, I'm gonna shut up. Him. I know, right? Shut up. Oh, oh Lord, sorry. help me now, please. First spin up, Joker, Joker. Oh, my God. what? Chris, Chris, I did it. Come here. I did man. Okay, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me just say this. In the three yeah. and a half years that I have been doing game shows here on YouTube, and in probably the three seasons that I have done this, never before have I seen any one contestant have the amount of luck that Lawrence is having right now. You have managed to spin a natural triple in some way, shape, or form in the first spin of every time you've entered into a new round. And and this particular time, you've managed to spend three jokers, sir. So that means that you could pick any of the categories we have in this round. I'm going to ask you a question. If you get it right, you win the game right here and now. You get you up, pick you up another five thousand dollars, sir. So the question comes to you is which category would you like for this game? I'll go over them one more time. The categories we're using this round, again, are art and literature, geek chic, sports, video games, movies, or grab bag. Let's go with video games. I kind of had a feeling you were leaning that way because I know video games is a, is a popular one for you. So, again, I'm going to ask you a question, and if you can get it right... You have got picked yourself up five thousand dollars, and you have won your uh, you've won your second game. So listen closely, and again, if you miss this, James cannot steal. This question is only for you. Mm-hmm. Under video games, Lawrence, the question is: In the game Pigmen, how many days do the ship's life support systems last before the player dies from oxygen poisoning? Again, in the game Pigmen, how many days do the ship's life supports last before the player dies from oxygen poisoning? Is it A, 7, B, 30, or C, 60? 30 days. Yep. And you have won your second game. Congratulations to you. <laughs> that was literally a guess. I got my my goodness congratulations once again sir five thousand (coughs) dollars off the instant win here and you're going back to face lucy one more time in just a second here james i wish i could say things I wish I had more time to like sit and talk with you a second, but unfortunately, Lawrence apparently has hit has hit the uh, speed up button for this episode. He, he, he just basically Claymore kicked me out of nowhere. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, that that's the that's about the equivalent of it. But fortunately, you're at least not going home empty-handed. You've got yourself a thousand dollars for answering the one question you did right, and we're going to give you another chance to play if you get selected in the next episode because you're only getting one spin at the reels here. So we thank you for playing, and we'll hopefully see you back before the season's over with, all right? All right. Thank you for having me here. All right, Lawrence, you've gotten yourself another $5,000 in cash. That brings you now up to $536,188 in cash and prizes. Let's go see if you can do some more damage to the bank account here as you take on Lucy in the bonus round. Come on over. Well, Lawrence, again, it feels like you just left here and you're already back once again. You ready to win some more cash prizes here? (coughs) Let's give it a shot. Well, let's see if you can find some jokers this time, sir, when you're ready. Good luck to you. Here we go. Not bad. It's a good start there. A folding trailer along with a trip to Montego Bay and a joke breaks your price package to $24,923, and you get the right to spin again. Okay, so hopefully for a new car, maybe. 
water tray, choker, and another choker brings your prize package now to $48,773, and you've earned the right to play for a brand new car, sir. Three cars up on the board. Which one do you want to play for? Uh, as I go into my bank account, Jason, I'm going to give you 30000 Kind of climbing up your tree. You may owe him a little bit more considering what you just won, but should you manage to beat Lucy, you're going to be driving away in a brand new Dodge Neon SXT worth $16,215, making your total prize package $64,988 cash and prizes. can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. Oh, boy. All right, Lawrence, we are back here in bonus land once again. Um, if you could do what you did last time, you won't win as much, but you'll still win a very nice Joker's jackpot because it has finally been reset for probably only the second time this season. Back to its starting amount of $50,000. And if you do it, one of your spend three Jokers, one of your first two spins again, you're walking out of here with a hundred grand. So. When you are ready, sir, best of luck. Let's see if you can beat the devil. Here we go. <coughs> First spin up, 500, 2,000, 1,000. All right, run the board, $3,500. You need 6,500 more. Win, what do you want to do? Stop the goal. Keep it going. All right, there's a risk of 3,500 here. Next spin up, 750, 2,000, 2,000. Good spin. 8,250 is what you got. Are you playing for 50000 in the Joker Shack but now if you decide to continue? Seventeen fifty is all you need. What do you want to do? Well, I stop now, unless uh, I see what happens. I'm going to bite me in, in, on the butt in the end, but let's see. All right, need seventeen fifty <clears throat> for the win. The spin is $1,000. 1000 500 We got another winner. Whoa. Good <laughs> Wow, I think this is finally like one of the first episodes we've had in a long time where Lucy has managed to not show his face. Congratulations, Lawrence. $10,750 in cash. We add in the prize package with the car, and yet gives you a bonus round total this time of $75,738. When we add that to your previous winnings, sir, gives you a two-game cash and prizes totaling Six hundred and eleven thousand nine hundred and twenty-six dollars. Jeez. My goodness, right there. That is crazy. <coughs> what do you gotta say, sir? I mean, well, uh, <laughs> I well, I mean, I mean, I mean. So, what are the odds of of me and Nashville triple in the first round? On the first bin, and think, then hit natural triple in the first bonus round, and then natural joker, triple joker in the beginning. And I, oh, wow. I don't want to even try to start computing the math <laughs> because it would make my head hurt to try to figure out the percentages. <laughs> but I will say officially, today is your day on this game, sir. So congratulations to you, and you're going to be back with us next time here to defend your championship and see if you can't work your way into the tournament of champions. Will Lawrence be able to make it? You'll have to find out next time because we're all out of time for this episode, folks. We thank you so much for watching another fast-filled episode this time of The Joker's Wild. Remember, if you like the series, you want to see more of it, check out the entire playlist here on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed and want to see other great game shows we have do from the past, the present, or in the future, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the reels come spinning our way once again and we work our way to our final episode before the Tournament of Champions, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time right here for another <coughs> episode of The Joker's Wild. Take care. Bye for now, folks.
announcer Sunny Boy speaking for the Joker's Wild. A Barry and Enright production in association with MVG Productions.